When the gates open, our warriors look for their team crest, then use the maps to place the team crest on the right squares on the chamber floor. Then they go to the tiger's head, and if they got it right, the key to their treasure chest will drop, and they can start collecting coins. The sharks have made quick work of the map. They have their key. Oh, yeah, I'm up. In go Billy and Zach for the scorpions. They've got a lot of catching up to do as the sharks have their coins. Simon heads off for the first load for the sharks as Billy and Zach desperately try to finish their map. Grab and go. Yeah, yeah. As Shane and Emily enter, the scorpions finally get their key, but the sharks are piling in the coins. There's the coins for the scorpions. Grab and go. Time is running, guys. Time is running. Can they catch the sharks? The scorpions will have to grab and go as fast as they can. Grab and go. Both teams know that the more coins they have, the more points they'll get on the overall tournament leaderboard. Every single coin counts. Okay, guys, time is running out now. Just 30 seconds left. Not all left, guys. This is a great effort by both teams. They are grabbing and going, keeping it full. Get out before the gate closes. They don't want to get stuck inside. Very nice. Outstanding work. Outstanding work. Let's have a look at some of the key moments. As we've done the treasure chamber many times before, we sort of knew what we were doing. We went for the same sort of tactics as normal. I always had the map, and then Adrian and David used to find the pieces. They had four keys. They had 150 bonus. Yes. They were sharks. I mean, <laughs> they bite scorpions. And then the key went flying, so I think if we had that extra few seconds, we could have got a few more. We got all the shield, you know, placed them all down in the correct order, got the coins, and, you know, as uh, Gino says, snatch and go. 